So do you know, if you want to get your movie up uh, for sale on iTunes or for rental on iTunes, and if you use Distriber, they charge you $1,595 for a delivery charge. And there, there's also a $225 annual fee. And they even have a $200 takedown fee. Unbelievable. But that's why Amazon Video On Demand is a game changer. There's no more of this $1,600 bullshit. So Amazon Video Direct requires that you have captions to go with your movie or video if you want to sell it or rent it on their site. And they require a .srt file. And no, this is not some just some little file extension that you can change in two seconds if you happen to have, for example, a .sbv file. The lines of text inside that file must be formatted a certain way. Now, I've seen long videos telling you how to use open source software that is complicated to learn and tedious to use. That's why I recommend instead simply using YouTube as your free software for editing and creating a caption file output. Now there's one little hitch, YouTube exports for you a .sbv file, wrong format, but you can convert it for free on a site called 3playmedia.com, copy and paste the text to a Microsoft notepad file, and then change the file extension to .srt. So if you have a 90 minute movie, there's no point in uploading all that video to YouTube. All you really need is just the audio. So what I recommend is rendering a low quality blank black video file with just the audio of your movie, leaving the audio just as it is, then log on to your YouTube account, upload the video as a private video, of course, you don't wanna launch it live, obviously. Then right click where it says CC, closed caption, then click add new subtitles or CC, select English. Now do not use their automatic transcribe and auto sync. It's as Donald Trump would say, a total disaster. Instead click create new subtitles or CC. Then you can just press play, listen for the spoken words that you need to be transcribed, type them in on the left side, then click the plus sign. Then in the timeline, you can click and drag to adjust the start and end parts of the caption. You can also click and drag outside of the captions to move backwards and forwards throughout the, the timeline instead of just clicking play and stop every time. Notice how I've added a little bit of space before and after the waveforms. I think it's more aesthetically pleasing like that, just my opinion. So you just keep adding and adding text. When you're done, click Actions, Download, Save the .sbv file. Then as you can see here, I just created a short little file for demonstration purposes. Highlight and copy the text. As you know, you can do this by, by clicking the Control key plus the A key then right click and select copy. Then go to the three play media website found in the description below this video, select .srt as your output format. Just right click inside the text field and select paste. Then click convert my file. When it's done, there, there's no need to save the output file. Instead, just highlight and copy all the text. Then we want to open up a blank Microsoft notepad file, right click and select paste. Then save the file as a normal notepad file. Then simply rename the file extension of that file to .srt. Then you go to Amazon, upload that file, and you are done. In my next video, I'll be talking about how to render a ProRes 422HQ file with the correct QuickTime conversion settings. By the way, be sure to click the subscribe button below this video. I'm actually trying to rent my movie on YouTube, but they require 1,000 active subscribers. So now you know why I'm posting this video. So please click to subscribe if you found this video helpful.